Okay, so here is green pepper that I am sauteing. And this particular one is for John. So I'm sauteing some green pepper now, as you can see. Okay. And I'm going to show you all how I'm going to do this. Now, uh, the noodle is perfectly the way I want it to be. So I'm going to cut that off. Okay. But I'm, what I'm doing right now, I'm just sauteing these. Now, I'm going to have onions in mine. And also, I'm going to have, um, let's see, I think I want some garlic. So, I'm going to put a little garlic in, in uh, this is a burnt green pepper here. I'm going to put a little garlic in John's. Now, the noodle is where I want it to be right now, so I'm going to cut it off. I don't want to cook it like beyond perfection I, I mean you know like beyond done because it's going to be fried in here so i'm sauteing a little bit of green peppers and also i have some garlic that i'm going to saute in here for john now mine is going to have onion because i just love onions and he doesn't john doesn't like onions <laughs> so i'm going to be taking a clove of this garlic and i'm going to also saute it this way I can open it up okay so I can't open it up so I'm gonna have to get John to open it and I'll be right back okay so um I got the garlic opened and so I am back and I'm just gonna saute it in here okay there are many ways I mean lots of ways to cook ramen okay tons of ways Um, how do you like yours? So yeah, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit and I think I want to turn this up. Okay, so the noodles is cooked the way I want them to be. Okay, not all the way cooked to the point where I would look like if I was getting ready to actually, you know, prepare it. Oh, I cut the wrong one off. Okay, um, you know like as a soup but I'm gonna do something different so you all just bear with me now I'm gonna show y'all something why I make that saute what you see here is some ingredients that there's some things that you can use if you are gonna fix your noodles okay um, this is the kind I'm using okay right here you don't have to use this salt packet Okay, a lot of people um, back away from it because they say, okay, it has a lot of sodium in it. That's true, but you don't have to use it. If you have a problem with sodium, you don't have to use it. You can use um, different types of spices. Okay, I also have something called no salt seasoning that you can use as well. And you can get that from the Dollar Tree. So that's, you know, that's something that you can use. Um, you don't have to, like I said before, use that salt packet. Uh, I think people feel like if you don't use it, that it's not going to taste right or be cooked right. But that's not true. Okay, so you could just go ahead and you can use garlic powder. You know, um, I had some no salt seasoning that I had, I think I misplaced it someplace. But anyways... Um, use that different types of things you don't have to always go in for that packet all right um because sometimes I feel like just leaving it out myself um, and I don't use it but also this is a salt free season I was telling you about so yeah and then here's some soy sauce that I had got some um, soy sauce here and um, this one is, is quite old so I'm gonna be using this is almost done I'm gonna be using that excuse me and I'm just going to saute this on up a little bit. Get going. And this was the um, garlic. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It just came in the can with, um, you know, a little water. And, you know, I think they put citric acid. I try to go as natural as I can. But this, you know, particular uh, brand didn't have a whole lot of different preservatives in it. So that's why I use it. But ultimately, what we're going to do, and you get ready to see that in one second. And let me show y'all something else that I have, too. I'll just put this right here. That I got yesterday. Okay, this is something that I purchased from the H Mart yesterday. And it's called Spicy Beef Flavor Paste. 
um, it's Vietnamese and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like just a little bit into the now if you have a salt problem I would think don't use that the paste you know what I'm saying just use like ketchup or you know um, use a you know the salt free seasoning I wouldn't suggest using that okay and so I'm gonna put this paste in here okay and just let it simmer saute with the garlic oh y'all it smells so good i'm gonna turn it down just a little bit it smells oh out of this world oh my goodness i love that smell okay so the next step let this get in here i'm gonna take this noodle okay just like this like so and i am going to i probably should get my spaghetti yeah i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna get my spaghetti uh Blabber. I guess you could. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Because what I'm trying to do is get it into the. Ooh, that kicks out a lot of different. And we're gonna put it in here like so. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Mmm. And we're gonna stir it up. Like a stir fry. Okay. And we don't want it to get too dry out. So what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to. Probably add just a little bit of ketchup. And I'm going to add the seasoning pack as well. So I'm going to cut this down a little bit. And I'm going to use. All right, so now we got it in like this. Now, since John doesn't have any type of blood pressure issues or anything like that, we're going to go ahead on and we're going to add our little packet in here. It says sort of vegetable. Ooh, I'm going to add half of it anyways. So, put that in there. Oh, wow. So, it's almost like a stir fry. Now, I'm going to let it get a little hard. I'm going to put it like a pancake like and then let it cook a little bit more and then I'm going to flip it. But so I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit of soy. Okay. Alright. And I like putting this in here so that way I can get a little bit of the juice but not much. All right. Just a little bit. See, this is the way I wanted it to be. Oh, yeah. It smells so good, y'all. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup. And John likes stuff hot, so I'm going to hit it with some of these red pepper flakes, which it did come with some right here. So, well, this is assorted vegetable, vegetable flakes. I'm going to put that in there, too. Ooh, that looks good. Put that in there. This smells really good, y'all. And see, Maz is going to be different from his because um, he, like I said before, he doesn't like the onion. But I'm going to saute onions with mine. Onions and garlic. I'm just wiping down some of the place with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, my. So it's almost like I'm doing a stir fry. In essence, you know. But it's different from, you know, like the normal, just a soup base, you know, ramen. It's different from that. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Just a little bit of the ramen um, fluid, you know, liquid that came out. 
I'm gonna cook the noodle. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted to, um, you can add your meat. If you want to add meat to it, which um, I'm gonna probably add, I have some mussels, so I'm gonna add mussels to mine. And I'm gonna show that video, but I just wanted to show this one first on how to take a basic ramen and turn it into a very delicious um, gourmet uh, dish. And there it is. I hope you all try it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so John decided to add a burger that I cooked yesterday to go on alongside of his. And there you have it. A new way to eat or a different way to eat ramen noodles. I hope you guys try it. Bye.